Hello everybody. In this demo we're going to be looking at how we would place a custom design onto the front of our cap. Uh, we're going to be using Photoshop, uh, placing our artwork on a design file in Photoshop, exporting it there into uh, Cinema 4D where we'll be updating the design colors around the hat and making our design final. So let's get started. So in um, the process of purchasing the model you will receive uh, an email after you've purchased it to a download link for our hat um, here I have downloaded it so we have the baseball hat dot zip we'll open that file and then we'll get a folder baseball hat inside this folder you'll see the standard renderer the redshift renderer version of our Cinema 40 files we also have FBX and an OBJ. Those, all those files will come with the download and then we also have this update this file with your design PSD and we're going to open that to start and, and when you open it you'll see there is uh, a guide here for where you place your artwork so put everything inside this orange line here that's where the front of our cap UVs are so this this space is where your design will need to be placed you don't really have to worry about these other UV um, items, you just leave them as is. So to start, I've prepared uh, this artwork and I want to use as my logo on the cap and I'm going to bring that into my file. So let's go duplicate layer and then bring it into that Photoshop file and you'll see it come in here. I'm going to turn this into a smart object and then move it over uh, in place and maybe scale it up just a bit and then that will be good for that then I'm going to bring in a solid color place it below the artwork uh, sample that background color and do the lighter color there actually it's still darker and then I'm going to uh, do an adjustment with the blending options and let's bring down that's what I want right there okay so there we go now we have the background removed and we have our, our logo placed on that cap with a color fill for that that background area so um, if we were to turn this on and off you can see that our logo is placed right over where it says your design here so that's a good spot to place it and then we're good to go so now we just need to export this file go to export save for web I use this to shrink my file size down a bit so it will load faster when it renders uh, the the difference between 100 quality and uh, 60 quality is very minimal and in the pixels you, you really can't see the difference visually so you're talking about um, a file at 100 that is let's see 100 six in this in this example we don't have that big of a file so but in some cases where you have a lot more colors a lot more um, changes in contrast those files will get bigger so um, this is, a, is probably not the best example for this, but we have a uh, just a concept here. You should probably sh shrink your files down just a bit with this tool to optimize them for before they load in your renderer, and that will make your, your renders load faster. And if you have multiple items in your scene with texture maps that are all optimized better, it will work better for your process. So let's just save that here and let's go into uh, let's see our demo we want to uh, place the inside the um, directory that we opened earlier where the files were we're gonna have the texture folder we're gonna overwrite the update this file with your design um, JPEG that's already in there so the, the title of this file just leave it as is and then just hit save as a JPEG and it'll be over you know, ask to be over it write the old one and then we go replace and then we're good now we just go and we open our let's do redshift for this demo and when we open the file you'll see the the logo is coming on the hat good to go there let's fire up a rendering view drop it down just a bit for the demo and then we can start to play with our colors here Give it a second to load.
There we go. There's our hat. So everything in the, on the model is customizable. So if we wanted to change the color of the the hat uh, mesh, let's go there. Let's start changing those colors. So we go here, open a redshift material. Let's change it to an orange or something like maybe brighter orange, like something like that. Maybe a little bit brighter. A little bit more saturated, let's see. A little bit more red. Okay, let's go with that. And then we can have our hat brim easily changed. If we can just open that. And we go here. We go to our our texture map where the the hat texture is, and we can go to our adjust tab. And a color offset, we can change that black to, we can change that to an orange as well or something. Let's see. Brighten that up a little bit. Maybe go to red. Or another thing we could also do is sample our color that we use in the hat here by going back into the color, uh, hitting these arrows on the left, and then going to the hashtag and then we can grab our hex color just copy and paste that command C and we can go back to our brim open the shader graph again and do the same thing by going through the arrow to the hashtag and then this way we can paste it in there and then we'll have the same exact color on both of those parts although our, the one in the brim looks much brighter so let's just darken it a little bit Something like that. So there, that's our, our color adjustments for the hat. I kind of like how the the circles and the top little dot thing are looking. Actually, let's change this just a little bit. Let's make them blue. They look like they're black right now. Let's make them just a little bit blue. Yeah, something like that. And so one thing I'm noticing is on this front of the hat, the, the white is a little bright. So if we wanted to tone that down, there's a method we could use where we could go into our um, node editor and drop a color, um, color correct, and then put that into input and then drop it out into the diffuse color. Now we have a color correct node in our um, pipeline so we can just adjust the white value a little bit so we can drop the levels down just a bit now it'll bring down that that white value so it's more it's not as blown out maybe something like that um, so yeah that's it it's very simple you just use Photoshop Place your artwork on the, the guide, bring it in, export it from Photoshop as a JPEG, open your file, and then you can just adjust your colors from there. It's very simple, and you should be good to go. And that's the demo. Thanks for watching.